My name is Linda Vallejo, and I'm very pleased to be here in support of the Museum of Sonoma County. I'd like to thank Jeff Nathanson for this opportunity to support the museum's great efforts. And it's always wondered, wonderful to be remembered by my community of artists and uh, art connoisseurs. So I'm here today to talk about the piece that I've donated to the Ungala Art Auction, which I'm really happy to be of support to, and I hope that you will support as well. I donated a piece called El Bello Travestido, Tim Curry with the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Um, I'm known for appropriating imagery, especially antiques, and painting their skin brown. I started this called Make Them All Mexican, where I began painting the entire world brown to be just like me. One year, uh, I had a wonderful show at the UCLA uh, Chicano Studies Research Center with John Noriega. John is the director of the center and also a film uh, professor at UCLA. Uh, after the exhibition, I, it was a wonderful show with a catalog and lots of imagery. He invited me to do some pieces surrounding the, uh, the, uh, uh, the Oscars and a lot of controversy that was going around uh, regarding the lack of representation of actors of color, uh, producers, directors of color in the Oscars. So I produced a series of pieces called The Brown Oscars. And I wanted to share with you today that I was very fortunate to get a lot of coverage for this work in the LA Times. It was actually included on the cover of the LA Times calendar section. In this case, we have uh, Audrey Hepburn, who's called Aurora Hernandez. I just changed the names to make them Latino and made a pretty uh, strong statement about the value of acknowledging artists of color in all aspects of the cultural community. So in this particular piece, I took one of my very favorite actors, Tim Curry, what a heartthrob, in his, in his uh, iconic role for Rocky Horror Picture Show as a transvestite and made him brown. He couldn't be cuter. I mean, he is just too sexy to believe. And of course, Jeff Nathanson thought it was a really funny, um, a funny uh, addition. Uh, uh, it has a political edge to it. It has a cultural edge to it. It certainly makes a statement. I began uh, Make Them All Mexican uh, because I wanted to make work from repurposed objects. There was a very big movement going around the United States and that internationally actually to use pre-produced objects to produce art. I saw a great deal of work in New York and China and all over the United States. So I began by asking myself the question, what would repurposed work, like, work look like from my cultural point of view? And one day I was walking in an antique mall looking for things to repurpose. And sure enough, I found two little uh, pilgrim salt and pepper shakers. And I thought, oh my God, OMG, I can make them brown and turn history and culture on its head. And that's how Make Them All Mexican began with me painting uh, what pricey antiques brown to have a discussion, a meaningful discussion about the politics of color, class, culture, and power. So um, my recent project are data pieces, where now I use uh, brown dots on architectural grid paper to actually uh, exemplify data about US Latinos, uh, health, education, uh, and also now, most, most recently, the gross uh, domestic product. I've been doing a great deal of research on that, and I'm creating sculpture that's based on data, portraits that are based on data, um, works on paper that are based on data so that we can get to know ourselves and so everyone can get to know us better as well. So I'm really hoping that you will help me to support the Sonoma Museum by adding uh, Tim Curry El Bello Travestido in your collection and uh, bring our community together in this beautiful uh, Angala. Thank you so much.